So when I sent the picture of Lotus to the children, <laughs> I think somebody was like, okay. <laughs> they were like, okay. Wait, it it was hilarious. They were like, oh, she got a wig? Yeah. Who is that? I think the funny thing, <laughs> the funny thing now is because our kids are are basically they're adults mm-hmm. and they've seen how our relationship has been. And they see how we we travel and how we do things together. They expect. Yeah. You know, I'm not having a crisis. It's just I'm aware of life is short. Welcome. This is For Better and Worth. The podcast where we don't believe you have to sacrifice your relationship while you grow and build your net worth. We are your hosts. I'm Chris. And I'm Erica Young. And we're so glad you're joining us today. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. Hey, honey. How are you? I'm doing good. And you? How you doing this, this today? D- you didn't want to say what day it was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this... <laughs> I don't, you don't know I'm, what time of day it this, is? Like, this morning, afternoon, like, whatever, whenever it is, but how are you doing? I'm good. Uh, I'm good. good. I had a peaceful morning trying to get a few things done, and here we are, back in the studio. Yeah, so. it's, always, it's always fun to get back in here and do what it is we do. And today is going to be really fun. So. Yeah. Yes, it is. So we talked about your birthday. Yes, Months we ago. Did. We did. And. And it was an event. It was epic. Well, they say a time was had. A time was had by all. Oh, yes. We had us a good time. We partied. We did not party, however, on my birthday, which is fine because it wasn't a milestone birthday. But. My birthday is a national holiday. <laughs> Your birthday turns out to be a month-long celebration. A month-long celebration of using my coupons, my free meals, my... I still have stuff, actually, to, look, look, to gotta, take advantage of. I got to pause right there. And I, I don't know if our, our friend listens, but, you know, shout out to Tifa. Who oh, started yes. You on- yes. Yes. Birthday train. She uh, did. Free, free stuff, free items. So to back up, yes, my good friend actually told me to start signing up for free, free stuff because she actually had a folder, a literal folder where she a printed, manila folder. printed out all of the rewards and birthday gifts and things like that that she would get from different stores that she liked. I think she was going all month, like free meals, yes. lunch, and buy yes. one, get one, and this. And so, that takes some effort, though. It does. And so I was like, oh, I love that. And this was several years ago. And one of the first times that I did it, when I said, I'm just going to take the day for me, I took myself to the movies for the first time ever. And I was over the age of 40. And... You want to get your free Starbucks? I got. I did. I started doing all the things just for me. Like, I, it's fun to have a party or to go to dinner or to include your family or whatever. Mm-hmm. But... I called my mother at like nine in the morning and said, thank you for having me. (laughs) And then I just celebrated me. And then, of course, we always end up doing something at the end of the day together or whatever. But but I just didn't want to place all of my birthday celebrations on someone else's shoulders. I wanted to be able to say I did what I wanted to do and that I got I didn't have to spend all the money now. Caveat, I always spend. I always spend more money this month because, you know, they will tell you $10 off here or this. It's all it's all a hook. It's all a it's hook, a to, hook get to get you in the store and, in, and buy some stuff. So I think um I think the good thing is that because I know who I'm dealing with, I don't worry about it. <laughs> like I'm like, go get your free this or that, or mm-hmm. you know, we went to breakfast and had buy one get one mm-hmm. i think people probably laugh but look we out here we going to dinner tonight sure. and we're gonna use a-, a birthday coupon so i added it up and i had over 30 offers i wonder did you add the value i did not that? actually add the value that's a really good point i probably could but i have an uh, a folder in my inbox in my email and i had several offers in there or they come in the mail, and I added them up. It was over Look, thirty, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get to them all. Some not, of them expired. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad. I'm not gonna do it. But I'm not mad at. And you. some of them aren't exactly worth it, right? So one of them was 
Target 5% off. Like... I mean, but we go to Target. I mean, it's just... But it'll turn... It turned for us, when we spent the money, it turned out to be three bucks. Because we don't spend hundreds of dollars at Target, so... But it was... You know, we go on to Target for whatever. It's just... Yeah. Okay, 5%, cool. We'll just take it. You know, some of them expire because I just didn't get to it, but I typically get to a lot of them. Yeah. So, anyway. There's that. But also, this year was a little different. (laughs) You like sinister. <laughs> you, you always say my laugh is sinister when I get yeah, excited. Because you're like, <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. Well, because it's it's a little different. Well, I think I think the whole point, and you know, we do our podcast. We talk about money or the relationship, or we talk about both. And this is definitely relationship focused <laughs> it, because it better be because <laughs> yeah we've been we've been married for 26 years and been together for a long time so you know the thing I'm getting out of this is you got to mix it up you yeah know, you got to keep the sparks flowing keep your eyes for your spouse you know so you got to mix it up so this is what happened let's paint the picture you you looking like oh lord right. here we go. <laughs> So I'm, I'm I'm actually on this journey with you today. To, what what does that mean? Because <laughs> <laughs> because I'm telling the story. Okay, so I'm putting it out here, y'all. This is this is what happened. A friend of mine had this really fun, creative, cool idea to have a role play. So three couples got together, and she had a persona for each person both male and female, and she texted everybody ahead of time. So they had a couple of days to get in character, get in character, get your clothes together, figure out what it is you want to do with this character. And we all got into character. So the the fun part to me was that the guys are, went to the bar ahead of time. Well, the fellas got together. Yeah. And the women got together. And... The fellows, we got together and we Ubered to a restaurant that we were all going to meet at. So we went to the bar and we were just hanging out, you know, like fellas do, just kicking it. And then the ladies were getting dressed together. And then we came, what, 10, 15 minutes later after them in an Uber. And they were at the bar and we pretended we didn't know who they were. (laughs) Okay. But then we proceeded to pick the ladies up. Well, not we. I mean, I'm gonna say Mr. GQ over here came and <laughs> you know what, I'm saying? what what did you say? You were like, we saw you were over here. What did you say? What was your line? What was your pickup line, babe? I said, you know, I see you guys over here taking a picture and you didn't have any space at the bar. But you know, if you want to pull up, me and my boys, we got a spot at the bar. Hey, so we pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to talk about who we were. Do you want to talk about who we were? I mean, I feel like mine wasn't a great departure from who I am in real life. I was an influencer, a travel influencer, and I had to stop and take pictures for things. And, and uh, you know, they my name was Derek, but, you know, I go by Rick. <laughs> he had a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> my friends call me Rick. <laughs> And then you know you were you were just a little sexy with a little chest coming out and the and the, the taco the goat. meat showing. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy, the taco meat. Mm-hmm. So and the chain, the gold chain. Oh my gosh, we were laughing the whole night. You know, it's funny. I think I've had a gold chain since I was like in high school. It's just been it's a thing. You know? It is. It is. I think all the brothers keep a gold chain. You know. My, yeah. my, my Cuban link. Oh, my goodness. So. I'm not going to have, you know, a big iced out, you know, $100,000 chain. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Good Lord. That's, I'm not getting down like that. But I did spend a little money for this. Just a tad. Just a tiny bit. Not a lot. I mean, so. I was. You now, were, let, me, were, let me back up. I don't know. I'm like real hesitant to put this were, out here on the airwaves. You were a. A, uh, uh, um, a student. A nursing school student. Yes. And you were, uh, how, how do we say? Uh, Paying my way through school at night. Yeah, you with know. With the tip. My, my goal, my I have daughters and my goal. Dancing. Was. Okay. My goal for my daughters was to keep them off the pole. <laughs> and you didn't so, keep me off the pole, baby. <laughs> you were my daughter. So, it's, <laughs> so yes, uh, I was a stripper. Okay. Yeah, I had a I had an upstanding career. 
<laughs> well, my friends was trying to get me to, you know, come into a, a more respectable position as a nurse. You know, they influenced me right. to to go back to school. Your one friend was an attorney. Yes. And your other friend yes. owned a yoga studio. Yes. So these were professional natural, women doing their thing. Path. And we were supposed to be in our late 20s and 30s. So we were early in careers and things like that. So the pivot was necessary. But I, you know, I had a wig. Um and a stripper has, you know, not that many clothes <laughs> that cover her body. So that was a thing. Okay. I did wear a blazer. I did wear a blazer. Okay. But I promise oh, if anybody man. had seen me, I'd have been like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Well. What did you say when you saw me? What did well, you what's think? What's funny is you putting it out here to everybody. Now, I, so. I am. It's 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 there. <laughs> Yes, we did that. But you know what? Look, we've been married, and this was you and I. I met you. Yeah. You know, as your alter ego or whatever you want to call it, but I met you out and about. So it's it's all good, you know? And I think people be too uptight sometimes. You gotta, yeah. You know, you got to lean into your relationship because we had a ball. We had a great time. But what did you think when we came out of the Uber— and we were coming into laughing. the 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 actual restaurant. I said I said to one of my friends, I was like, "Who was that?" And they were like, "That's them." And I was like, I stopped, burst out laughing <laughs> just because <laughs> I was like, "They went in for this." We went in. It was it was funny, and I was I had to excuse myself and like go to the bathroom <laughs> because I was laughing so hard. So my name was Lotus. Yes, like the flower. What did you think of Lotus when you saw her? I was like, you know, she she was fine. <laughs> but then when I talked to you, I was like, hold on, now you a little spicy. I, I was, I was, you need to I was take a hood that chick. edge off. You I know? was a hood <laughs> chick. Okay, I just got into that character. I needed some refining. I needed some of the edges smoothed it, smoothed out. You know, and so I think this is totally opposite of who you are. You were just leaning into it. <laughs> no, but I do like to dance. I just like to keep my clothes on, okay? Yeah. I love yeah, to you, dance. You so that part, dance, yeah. that part was, that part was accurate. And and so, but we had a good time. And, I, you know. Now, I think the funniest part about it. Yes. We were sitting at the bar and, you know, you guys came and joined us and we said, hey, can we get you a drink or something? And, you know, everybody's ordering things. And there was a guy who was sitting at the bar. I can't remember his name. Was it his, Andrew? No, 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 no. His name was Clinton. Clinton, yeah. Because he said, like Hillary, and we said, oh, no, not like Bill. He was, oh, that's the 90s. <laughs> that's that's the 90s, no. Right, but he was sitting there, and he was just watching us, and he was like, what is going on here? <laughs> and he said, he said, he said I, I had to order another glass of wine so I could stay here and see what was happening. <laughs> he was loving it. It's like, but then you all went to the bathroom and I kind of clued him in on what was going in. And he was like, oh, okay. Because I was like, what is happening? <laughs> because he was like, I think y'all know each other. But then you were introducing yourselves and I can't figure it out. It but was, I'm it here hilarious. for it. He was like, I'm here for it. So we took a picture it with Clint. Hilarious. I think but, the whole point, the whole point of this is that we don't take ourselves too seriously. And I think sometimes people take themselves so seriously that they can miss the opportunity to engage with their spouse and just have fun and find ways to connect and reconnect and stay connected because it was your birthday. So naturally we were going to celebrate and we've got, you know, great friends that, you know, just like to have fun with us. And uh, it was just, it was just fun. Yeah. We had, we a, had a great dinner. We did. It was delicious. Yeah. And so it was all hilarious. And we were, we drove, we took an Uber home together, all of us. And okay. We were just but real talk. The whole time. Real talk though. Okay. So we are in our late thirties. I'm sorry, late twenties and early thirties. <laughs> and we we're like hanging out. We're trying to, you know, go do some other stuff, go listen to some music. And when they said the music wasn't going to start till 10 o'clock. Now, we started early. We got to the first place around 5.30. Well, they said it was going to be close to 10, 11. Yeah. It was really going and to we were like, in. wait a minute. We was like, hold on. Hold on, man. hold on, hold on. I'm, I was like. I'm not 27. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I got to fully embrace the fact that <laughs> a sis is pushing 50. <laughs> that, Let's go home and go to bed. <laughs> we done had our I fun. Like, <laughs> I was like, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> we all of us unified. Six people were like, "Yep, it's time to go home." We like, could yeah. not hang. They were like, "Who called in the Uber?" <laughs> <laughs> that was 
I that promise, was the funniest part. We, I have not laughed <laughs> so much yes. in one day. But we were we were like three three and a half hours into it. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. we have been we have been there for. And five, we role played like, the entire time. We stayed yeah, in so, character until we got in the Uber back, and we were like, "All right, so let's decompress." Yeah. How did y'all like it? What did you think? So that was fun. I I just you know honestly I I'm I'm one I'm glad I have friends who are willing to do things like that and be outside the box. Right. But two, you know I'm glad that we're. You, that's one of the things, like our foundational principles is just to not take ourselves too seriously. And frankly, that's an epitome of uh, doing so. And before you start judging us, look at yourself. In <laughs> you know, I, OK, so we can we can go here. Like, I don't think there was anything to be judged about. I don't either. I don't think I, you know, honestly, I'm I mean, proud. you know, everybody makes questionable career choices. <laughs> so. <laughs> You made a questionable <laughs> career choice. <laughs> you know, but I also think that when a person is trying to figure themselves out, sometimes it takes a couple of iterations to understand the direction they want to go in their yeah. career path and all of that. And, and you have friends that were trying to help, yeah. you know, lead you in a direction yeah. that, you know, nursing is a great field. You can make a good income. Right. Right. So you know, and we had a whole backdrop right, to the nurses story. Nurses are in high demand right now. So and and I also so one of the things that I said I remember this distinctly. I said, you know, I just like to make people feel good. You know what I mean? I just want them to smile, feel better, and so I'm just gonna parlay that into the nursing career. Yeah. And so and and I really thought about it too, and I was like, when there's a little bit of truth to the role play, you can really get into it. Love. I love to travel, so yeah. it, it was easy for me. I feel like we all had a little truth to right. our to ourselves. I feel like I do that anyway as much as many times as I've told people about trips like, hey, you should go here, you should do this. Yeah. So call this company. It's like, you know, I, I need to get my travel agent license or mm-hmm. something just because I love to travel. It's just so much fun. So this is a little bit of a departure from the actual excitement of the role play, but I found it interesting. This is where the money comes in. We did have money set aside for birthday, things like that. Mm-hmm. We kind of, you know, we knew we were going to dinner and all the things. But we're not drinkers, like, yeah, like big, big drinkers. drinkers. Yeah, and so, so Derek leans in to Lotus and says, hey, so I, I took that uh, the bar bill. Or something. What did you say? You you were telling, I letting said, I me got, know. I said I got this. I pay, you I pay, you know you told me I I I paid for the drinks at the bar, and um you told me the number, and I was just like, okay, it's so well, funny. Well, I was telling Erica. Right. You were, <laughs> you were like, I'm not telling Lotus. Lotus, like, Lotus, Lotus don't care nothing about don't, that. Look, Erica, look, I got the bar bill, <laughs> but this bill was kind of high. That was that was accountability. Yeah. And so, like, even in the midst of We might of us, be in the midst of fun, but it was yeah. like, look, this bill was... Right. It was... And I think it was more than you wanted to pay. But I, but the funniest thing is that I'm really... A, I'm cheap. I don't want to spend money on alcohol. Yeah. That is, that's one of the reasons. I the, think that's one of the reasons why you've never been a big drinker. Exactly. Like, I, I just don't want to pay for it. I'm yeah. not interested in a $15 drink. Now, that night in particular, I got this really good drink, and I ended up getting two of them because it was delicious. And um, but we had all planned. We got to go back to that restaurant because it was just. It was good. It was, it was really, really good. good. Yeah. So, but it's so interesting that you know, even in the midst of trying to be somebody else, we can't get away Snap from. Back. We we Snap listen. Back. We like, come back to them to the money stuff. Like, hey, let me just tell like, you this real quick. That's accountability. I got that tab. I was like, well, hold on. <laughs> like, okay, I guess I was doing the big Willie style. Like, <laughs> Fellas, I got the drinks tonight. Right, no, right, right. No, you were in character. Yeah, was like, Derek was it. in character, okay? <laughs> and so, but I think it's so funny, though, because it's it honestly was not, that part was not like us to spend that kind of money normally. We've yeah. never done that. We've yeah, actually on, never been out and said, we got the drinks. Absolutely yeah. never. However, we were celebrating and all that. And I Lotus... Mean, we, we paid for dinner and stuff like that, but you know, that's... 
Yeah. That's normal stuff. But it yeah. Was, so, but it's so interesting. But it was in phases because that was a phase. And then dinner was a phase. Right. And then, yeah. You know, after dinner was a phase. So we were in all these phases. So, mm-hmm. But it was fun. And yeah. I think the, the biggest thing that as people listen, you know, find what it is that you and your spouse or your significant other want to do to mix it up, to keep things alive, you know. Because I know for us, there were seasons in life when... You know, we were really busy. I, I I have seasons where I'm really busy with my work schedule and things are going on. And what we would do is I would just sit down with Erica and just, you know, put her on my schedule for lunch. Like I would look at the month and say, hey, you know, we could do lunch a couple times a month. And I would just pencil it in for like two or three months at a time because I wanted to take care of that time and lock it in so that I didn't let something else intrude or, in, you know, in coach on that time. Yeah. And that way, it's guaranteed that we're going to connect mm-hmm. over those times. Or if it was a coffee, you know, we would put things down on the schedule because, you know, the calendar kind of rules a lot of our lives. And so whatever it is that that you want to do to mix it up, just find, find your thing. You know, if it's a hobby or something you're going to do together, that's how you keep the juices flowing. That's how you keep the connection between you and your spouse. And you know what? I remember one of the very first times we did that lunch. I was still working at Motorola, and you were working, I don't I remember I was doing where, IT recruiting. Probably. And we had lunch. And I, re- I don't know why this is such a vivid memory of mine, but I had, for many years, decided I didn't want any salad. <laughs> I was sick of salad. My dad's a vegetarian. I was tired of it. And um, so probably all through college, I just didn't eat it. And I was like, oh, I'm a big girl. I'm about to have a, a nice, I'm going to order a that salad. That is so funny. Which I never did. And I was in my 20s, okay? I was young. That's so but funny that you remember I that. remember ordering a salad like, oh, yeah, she a big girl. I remember that. I also remember, I know that sounds wild. I know that sounds silly. It doesn't matter. I remember, though, because that was one of the times that we were intentional, one of the very first times, I should say, we were intentional with our lunches. And then we also took dance lessons. We've taken dance lessons together. We've done that a couple times. Yeah, we took salsa lessons and ballroom. Yeah, you know, hey. (laughs) But we also did like golf outings and we've we've done a couple things to kind of keep it, you know different and and I think we need another one now. I do think yeah. that we need to find something else in this current Probably. season that we're in. But I think it's just fun to do something different and to explore that together and I I, just, I don't know how how you try and stay connected and not find something to do yeah. together. Yeah. And I know I know there was a season where like you would do the planning and you wanted me to start planning and I, just, I don't know, I guess I just wasn't thinking of stuff, but I've tried to, you know, be more engaged and think of things and, mm-hmm. you know, say, hey, let's go do this or, you know, drive, just do the, do, drive the event, mm-hmm. you know, uh, so it's not just all one sided. So yeah. that way we can do things that I want to do and we can do things that, that you want to do. Yeah. And I think put it in the budget, like put fun money birthday money, anniversary money, put that stuff in the budget. So, so, so there's it, no excuse. There's no excuse. You guys have agreed upon an amount or you talked about where it is you're going. You have the babysitter or whatever it is that you need to make it what you desire it to yeah. be. And it doesn't have to be super often. I do think at minimum, no matter what season of life you're in, you need to get out on a date at least once a month. Yeah. I just I'll think say this. you have to do it. I'll say this. You know, people allow <clears throat> the kids to become the priority when you have kids in a marriage or in a relationship. The kids become the priority. And what I told our kids, I said, look, your mama was here before you and your mama going to be here after you. Still here. I was like, so when y'all gone and y'all living y'all life, your mama going to be here. So <laughs> she's priority over y'all. And, and We'll make sure you eat and you clothe, but she number one, then y'all. But if the other thing is that if we're happy, if he yeah, and I are happy, happy and they see that we're good. Yep, they see that good, gives them, healthy relationship. That gives them confidence in themselves. Like that that gives them a backbone to say when I'm not feeling all right, I still got my people to go to. 
and yeah. they're good. You know, even if they, they've seen us disagree on stuff or when, you know, we're not feeling each other, they see that too. But they also see that we can come back together yeah. and be like, it's they all good, They see us work babe. through that. You know, yeah. yeah. Like, they, they need to see that. So, so when I sent the picture of Lotus to the children... <laughs> I think somebody was like, okay. <laughs> they were like, okay. Wait, it it was hilarious. They were like, oh, she got a wig? Yeah. Who is that? I think the funny <laughs> thing, the funny thing now is because our kids are are basically they're adults. Mm-hmm. And they've seen how our relationship has been. And they see how we we travel and how we do things together. They expect yeah. us to, you know, she's like, I'm so glad you all have each other and you yeah. have friends that you all just yeah. do all these different things. They celebrate it. They now yeah. celebrate it. When, when they're kids, we think we're doing them a disservice if we leave them with another babysitter no. or whatever. I, I think we actually do everybody a disservice if we don't invest in our relationship. Yeah. And, I hold this. I think she tells her friends what we do and, and her friends, they're adults as well and they're like, man, I love your parents. They are just... <laughs> They just living it up. We trying. Because honestly, you have listen, the soap opera is so true. You got one life to live. Look. You got one life to live. I think as I've got as I as I be as I mature in age and you know, you see things, you have life events that occur, you know, like you have people who pass on. It's just awakening. It's a it's a it's a I said I'm having a midlife awakening. Yeah. You know, I'm having, not having a crisis. It's just I'm aware of life is short. Yep. And while we have been diligent and we really encourage you all to be diligent with your finances, you have to be diligent with your relationship. And diligence requires you to be intentional about how you move and how you do things. Because if you're not intentional with your money, your money is going to evaporate. <laughs> <laughs> it is True. going to go away and you're going to wonder like, Poof! Where did it, where did it go? <laughs> you know, it was, it was here. It was physical. It was water. Then it became liquid. Then it became steam, and it was gone. And here's the thing: if you don't invest in your relationship, then what will happen to the relationship? Yeah, it can evaporate as well. They I, talk I, about they talk about you know old cat ladies. Oh lord! But what are, what are they? What's the equivalent it's, for men? I don't know, but I do know that gray divorce is a real thing. Hmm. Yeah. That that people who have raised their children, they are now getting gray hair, are deciding, I don't Last want this. Last kid out, they're like, I'm out. I'm out. And I don't want that for us at all. I mean, we already got gray. I mean. Look, I can't hide her no more. Uh, mine I was is covered supposed up. To, I was supposed to cover it up. Mine, mine is covered up. Yeah, no, so, I'm not. I'm not covering it up. I'm gonna yeah. cut it low. So always cover my gray. <laughs> okay, we're not playing these. Why games. you look at the camera like always? <laughs> cover my gray. Listen, I, we had this conversation. I know. I know we did. We've had this we conversation. We'll, we don't have to repeat anyway. But I, I, I think that when you have spent twenty. 25 years with a person. 30 years. And you've made these deposits, th- these investments, you have supported them, or you've struggled together. And then at some point you decide that it's time to call it quits. It makes me sad. But also, you know, it's almost as if we've decided to give up on trying. Right? And and I don't want to stop trying. No. I, I just I think, don't want to stop trying. I think from the beginning, I called it the the quit, quick generation. Because people, young people nowadays, they are quick mm-hmm. to just quit and move on opposed to putting in the work and the time. And, and I'm like, look, at this point, I told you, you start packing, like, where you going? <laughs> where, where we going? Because <laughs> if, if, if you packing, I'm going too. <laughs> I'm going to be like, listen, I need some breathing room, okay? Go another room then. <laughs> <laughs> Take your bag in the guest room. <laughs> you okay. don't even you don't even want that. So that's the other thing is and, neither uh, one of us have has ever been relegated to a different bedroom or the couch. We don't we don't play said, those kind of games. I said from the beginning, I was like, look, I'm not sleeping on no couches. We don't or play in them other kind of games. In my own house, no. Now I will say that when sometimes when we go to bed and you want to touch me, I'm like, don't touch me. Go on over there. Nah, go on over there. <laughs> 
Get out of here. <laughs> I, I do that, okay? But we don't. Yeah, we don't sleep separate. If you, if you, if you we don't if sleep you're separate. Upset with me or annoyed? I, I, I get that. Yeah, I mean, and and but we always. I just chuckle and turn over. Like, <laughs> is that what you do? Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. When you say I'm like, <laughs> okay, whatever. So what are you thinking? Like, <laughs> it'll be fine tomorrow. <laughs> Because it usually is. Yeah, That's like, the truth. It usually is. Yeah, it's like, whatever it is, it is. <laughs> it'll be over tomorrow. We've never fought yeah. like cats and dogs. That is not our MO. We typically will just really go dark or go quiet or just, you know. Yeah, but that we've talked about Give that. us a minute. Yeah, we've talked about that because fighting isn't fair. And fight, you fight to inflict harm. Mm-hmm. And I'm not trying to inflict any level of harm on you. So I'm not, no, it's. I'm not with it. Yeah. Ne- and neither am I. And I'm glad. I-, I say this. I have said this to you many times because we don't sometimes understand a lot of the challenges that other people go through in their relationship because... I mean, we see them. We see it, but we don't, we've we not had that experience within our own relationship. And one of the things that I have said is that we're reasonable people. We're people who look at each other and say, I know you didn't intend harm, even though it was harm. Full. Yeah. Or I know that you didn't intend to say that, but you know, I so we we give each other the benefit of the doubt and then we talk it through. Um, we're genuinely trying to be a good person for the other one. And I think we've made space for that versus assuming the worst. And and I think that it helps when we decide, okay, it's time to shake it up. Let's go do something different. Or, you know, I was very intent. Like, we could have easily not had your party. There were a couple times we were like, we ain't got to do that. We could just have a dinner. But I wanted to celebrate you. Yeah, you wanted to do more. It mattered to me that you felt the love around you because it's it had been a few hard years, honestly. And and I think going that think extra I get, mile I get party anxiety sometimes just because you know my birthday is around the holiday. That's why I didn't worry about I didn't want you worrying and I was about like, that. You know, people travel and you that's know, why I didn't like, want look, you worrying about that. So I uh, did most of the stuff. Yeah. I did most of the stuff. And I but I feel like when we go the extra mile for our partner, they feel that love. And now that is that is a memory Many folks will not forget. Yeah, we had a ball. We had an awesome. Well, time. The, the, your birthday, we're not gonna forget this either. So, <laughs> hey, I, I was, I was <laughs> in. I was like, okay, this, this what you want to do? <laughs> but you didn't even know. You didn't know who Lotus was until you met Lotus, right? And, I was like, oh, oh you, this what we doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. But you know, you were willing to take the ride, and I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, but we had Joking, a good time. Joking, I pulled ten dollars out. That ten dollars disappeared. Sure I did. Like, I, 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 like, I promptly. Where my money go? You know, Lotus don't take no ones and fives. We started tens, okay? <laughs> and so he gave me that ten. I said, "Yes, that's what we doing." So wow. And and that money has been spent <laughs> on some birthday shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you know you talked about we make space for it, and I think that's the problem sometimes with people is. They dig in. Mm-hmm. They dig their heels in yes. and they feel wronged and they don't want to make space to find a resolution. I think some people just like to fight. Some people like conflict. I agree with you. You know, and they, it's like conflict kind of keeps them going. But conflict, Woo! you could push that to the side and move forward and find another way of self-expression. I hate conflict. I literally try very hard, no matter who it is, to avoid conflict. But I have had to balance that with saying what is truly on my heart and what I really yeah. need you to hear from me. And but I I don't I don't like anyone to think that I am contentious or combative or uh, rude or mean. You know that me. I can't do. You know me. I grew up on the east side of Detroit, so we here for we here for all this. I know you are here for the smoke, and I have to tell you, <laughs> can you bring it down? You know, I'm like so so. Like, I, wait, wait, wait. I'd be like, wait, wait, wait. I don't got to catch the smoke. Right. And I'm not even in Detroit. So I say, I say, bring it down or same team <laughs> or I'm your wife. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, we, I don't want the smoke. <laughs> listen, I'm like, hey, go do you. Go, go cool off <laughs> somewhere else, you know, because what we're not going to do is, is, is actually 
do irrever irre how do you say Irre it? irrevocable damage. That's it. Irrevocable damage. We yes. don't want to do that. No, no. You know, so some stuff is hard to come back from, and that's where people you gotta let your heels out of the dirt. Yeah, you know, pull your heels out, don't dig in because you can do things that are very hard to, yeah. to you know to come back from. Like I can joke and say it'll be over in the morning because I believe that. Mm -hmm. But some things, you know, you gotta kind of pull your heels out and say, We let's make space for right. resolution. Yeah. And I think it's just as it's just as important as having fun is just as important as having a means to resolve issues when they come up. Mm -hmm. And it's cliche. And I think you pro people probably hear us talk about it every week about communication and communication, no matter what you're talking about, is so essential because yeah. you have to have the ear to hear what someone really was saying. You know, versus you just interpreting what they were saying. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. so I think it's time to get into how to make it worth it. What would you say makes it worth it this time, honey? I think just being open, because if I wasn't open to, you know, go hang out and try something different, you know, I could have just been a stick in the mud and just kind of poo poo the whole thing. And then you would have felt like, well, I'm not hearing you and doing what you want to do. So I think just be open to to try different things and. And different experiences. So, yeah. Um, what would you say? Did you make it worth it? Get loose, get loose, get. No, I mean, I, I don't know. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. Um, I think that fun times are an anchor for couples. I really do. I think that when you have fun together, when you don't take yourself too seriously, when you can laugh, yeah, and and have that in your memory bank, it is something you can go back to when they're getting on your nerves. You know what I mean? Like, because that's going to happen again. And so that just, I'm I'm glad you were willing. I, I think yeah. that might be the other thing too, is just be willing to do something different. Be willing, even if you're not interested in what your partner wants to do, be willing to try it at least once. And then do you don't that. have to do that I do again. that a lot. I scroll through, you know, my phone and my pictures and I see mm -hmm. pictures from all these different things that we've done. And I'm like, man, that was fun. Or it'll bring that experience or that moment back yeah. and I just laugh you know or think about the moment that we were in and and it just reinvigorates me so yeah so I think that's I think you need that in order to to have a healthy relationship just have those happy anchors because and you got to create them they don't just show up on their own all the time this took a little bit of planning and some prep and and actually some other people and so um I think I think we're going to do it again. I have this other... I now have a new idea, right? So for a Halloween, just, I'm just going to throw this out here to our listeners. For Halloween, go to Goodwill. Get your entire outfit from Goodwill for Halloween to be somebody different and show up oh, man, that as that person and embody them for the evening. I just think, you know, that that'll be that's interesting. And give yourself a limit. Like, you know, don't spend more than thirty dollars, twenty dollars or whatever it is at Goodwill and come back as somebody new. That could be fun. All right. Well, let's do it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy it and make space in your relationship for fun. Those anchor points and pull your heels out of the ground. There so, you go. There you go. Until next time. We're out. Thank you for spending some of your time with us today. We appreciate all of your support. So be sure to subscribe, rate, and review us wherever you listen to this podcast. You can find us on Instagram at For Better and Worth. And sign up to receive our free guide, The Seven Reasons Your Money Relationship Isn't Working With Your Partner, on ForBetterAndWorth.com. Until next time, we're out of here. <laughs>